Hey guys, welcome to another video. So in this video, I will be talking about my application timeline and why did I choose Canada for my master's degree. So let's just not waste too much time and let's get right into it. So here's the thing, uh, in the month of October, I was going for US um, to do my master's but some points came up and i completely turned my decision to canada because some of the points i mentioned in my previous video which was how to shortlist universities for masters i'll mention the link somewhere here uh, you definitely check it out so the first point was immigration uh, for me it, i need peace of mind while studying and while working so it was the most important point for me to consider second was fees uh, in canada it is around 50,000 Canadian dollars average for tuition and expenses and for US it is 50,000 US dollars average uh, so there's a significant difference in that so I think Canada is much cheaper uh, for masters then the final point would be uh, the education quality personally I feel there's no difference in education quality in US and Canada because both of the countries offer world-class education uh, so it doesn't matter which you know, which country you choose so coming up to my application timeline uh, uh, I initially had 25 to 30 universities uh, in my list but I narrowed it down to 10 or 8 to 10 but as you know 2021 was a very unpredictable year for master's ad ad applications uh, so i considered the worst case my moderate universities became the ambitious ones and the safe universities became moderate ones so i i didn't want to take any uh, chances with that so i just considered the worst case i was pretty confident about my profile that i at least i would get into one top eight university so i took the risk I applied for the top eight, but for the top seven, I applied for the thesis-based masters, which is the, the, the universities are University of Toronto, University of British Columbia, University of Waterloo, McGill University, Simon Fraser University, University of Alberta, and University of Calgary. So these were the universities where I applied for thesis-based masters. So three months later, uh, in the month of April end to May end, I started the, getting the decisions, so all of them rejected me. Yeah, that's a bummer. But anyways, I, 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 I felt bad. I was devastated. My morale was destroyed. But in the meanwhile, on 26 Feb, uh, 2021, uh, I got my first admit from University of Ottawa, uh, which I applied for the course-based masters. So the reason why I applied for the course-based masters was. Um, I researched about the courses offered by the department. I researched about the outcomes, job prospects and all. So basically I uh, found the entire masters quite aligning to my interests. That's why I chose course based there. So after receiving the re rejects, I was like obviously demotivated. But later, you know, this, there's this quote by Janet Fitch that uh, the phoenix must burn to emerge so I felt pretty uh, emotionally connected with the quote and I thought okay let's just move on let's just uh, move ahead I researched about the course ab about the university the more I researched the more I fell in love with it so that's why later I was like okay this is why it, I am doing my masters this is what exactly why I want to do my masters and now I feel that this is, was the most important and the best decision of my life to uh, accept University of Ottawa for my masters and hence I, I hope I was clear enough to give you the message that it doesn't matter if you get rejected from 90-95% of your university's applications you are in the end you are only going to go for one university uh, just forget the rejections, move on, move on with your life. It doesn't matter what you did last year, what you did last month or so in the past. It, what matters is what you do in the future. So that's why all the best for your applications. 
um, I hope you get the university you like. Thank you so much. Bye bye.